Hello everyone, welcome to December 2015, this is the last one from me. Whoa, I'll be making like another little bit of these talking bits at the end, but uh, hopefully stuff will happen in, the, in this month that I will be able to document for you, so good. Again, going back to my New Year's resolution that I mentioned in April, that I also mentioned again in June or July. I said I want to make a project that I'm definitely proud of, and I said that was Detached and Time Traveller. My opinions slightly change now. I am proud of Detached, but it's not my film. I wanted to make a film for myself that I was proud of. I am proud of Detached. I'm not saying I'm not. It just doesn't come down to what I was trying to say in my New Year's resolution. I am... the, the, the proudness has worn off for deception. Now, um, it now that I can sort of look back on it um, after like four months now. It's uh, it's still good. I'm proud of what we were able to do with it, considering that the the story is series two in one episode. I'm proud of that element. But when I was saying I was proud of it in general, that's not the case. The conversation or a conversation with Four Man's Nera is definitely the thing I'm most proud of. The filming of it, that we got to meet a very nice and well-known figure in the music industry who also has done some work in the film industry, um, that's a contact for me also. For the edit, I've not only, not just because I spent three days on the edit, I haven't spent this much work on an edit apart from last year's project that was a year ago called Painting Red, which I'm still proud of to this day. So I was like, for example, there was a shot where the microphone came into shot and I was able to get rid of that and everything like that. I've just spent so much work on it that looking back on it now, I feel very proud, which is good. Um, so pretty much this, right at the last one, is something I was able to fulfill in my New Year's resolutions. I've also lost weight. <laughs> uh, this used to fit me quite well. Um, so yeah, I've lost around three, I'd say, I'm gonna say at the least three stone. Um, after weighing myself, um, when I moved out, of uh, South End and up to Liverpool very briefly in April and May, I was 20 stone. And now, the last time I weighed myself, I was 16 stone 9. So hooray. So I, I now weigh that much, so I've, I've hit New Year's resolutions, um, which I'm very happy with. Um, I feel as though I, I feel very much accomplished. what it's all about these days, looking like you're doing something. I actually am. <laughs> oh my god, are they finally moving? You think they are? Yes they are. Oh. That's quite cool because I like that it zoomed out with the... Mm. Hi, welcome to... Hello, <laughs> welcome to December. I am in Tring with Tristan, and Tristan is dragging me through, well he's not literally, but through alleyways, because he's looking for filming locations. And, uh, Donald's not with us, we're going to meet him. But we've also been doing some filming, haven't we Tristan? We've been doing, we've been doing some test shooting, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Have a look at that. Look at that shot because you've got that there and then you've got the whole thing there. You've got to get that on the SMS. Doesn't look you great. Thought? It doesn't look great on the uh, on the phone. No, but it's so I think I think I think that's quite poor actually.
here on the London Midlands service, our spacious first class compartment is perfect for your every relaxing need. Newspapers on display. Because they're posh, aren't they? While the peasants Welcome aboard this London Midlands they're service tucked away. to London Euston. So today's detectives is now out. That's a quite a nice way to end the year, really, because the majority of these 2015s have been me and the crew filming this as well. So it's nice that it's out. Um, this is part one of three. Hopefully it'll be monthly, from what Chris has told me. Um, so next part will be New Year 2016, and as obviously as will part three. So, you know, go ahead and check out part one, etc. <laughs> Product placement. So I've just had to take some photos of my equipment for my hand in in a couple of days and just uh, just a tad messy. So the deadline is done, which I am incredibly happy with. Today I spent a bit of time with my friend Harry re-editing Star Wars The Phantom Menace. <laughs> Because we saw this other edit called the Anti-Cheese Edit, where they basically removed half an hour of Phantom Menace out of it. And we still think it doesn't especially start off that well. So we we edited it around a bit. We added music to the racing scene, and it was the music from Episode 4, A New Hope, where they're doing the Death Star run. Editing. Editing. And it works, it's in sync completely, and we think that they use that as a template. But pretty much, that's what we did today. I also handed in a uh, uni thing, and I'll be getting grades for that on, well, this Friday. And, and then I also start my Christmas holidays, which is good. So I've just watched Star Wars The Force Awakens. Well, I've watched, I finished it three hours ago. But um, it's going to be a quick non-spoiler non review. It is one of the one of the I would say one yeah one of the best directed films I've seen purely for the fact that probably it's probably because of the fact I already know some of the mythology of uh, Star Wars and how it works with the dark side and the light side and all like the like the integral details of that but the way they tapped into all of those different elements of Star Wars and actually added to it made it really really good they brought out the new characters very well they did not disrespect the new characters by looking back because there are obviously older or classic characters from the original trilogy they didn't disrespect either one they both had as it was, at least some of them had a reason for being there there were some that you could have felt like eh. the story itself was very nice it was very refreshing it was very Star Wars it was genuinely a really good film and I tried to stay away from spoilers I was able to until my friend accidentally told me instead of somebody else overall I really like the way they went into it some characters they actually really developed them well like as though they, you've seen them before which is really really nice and it's something that I really like about J.J. Abrams films um, yeah that's my little review <laughs> a lot has happened in the past couple of days that I thought I'd let you know about so Christmas won't be coming down time for Christmas for reasons that I'm not going to get into and not that I would know anyway I don't actually know uh, Tristan is not able to make it down at the moment. I'm not sure if anything's going to happen in the future where he can, but for now he's not coming down, which also means I'll be spending Christmas Day alone. I'm not too bothered about spending Christmas Day alone. I would prefer it if Tristan were there, but that, like, if I'm being realistic, I will probably be spending it alone. It's Christmas Eve at the moment. If he can't make it today, then... I'm spending Christmas alone, you know? Hopefully a miracle will happen. But either way, the reason why I'm not too bothered about it anyway... Oh, the cat wants to come in. Something scared the cat. Miss, what happened? What happened, Miss? Oh, Bonnie's coming in as well. I was about to start my sentence, but... Bonnie! Everything okay? 
Anyway, the reason why I'm not too bothered about spending Christmas Day alone is because I've technically already had my Christmas Day with uh, my dad, stepmom, and step uncle uh, at the beginning of December. We open up all our Christmas presents there and then, to which I thought that was good to do. The reason for that is because they were off in Romania at the moment, seeing what I would, like, I'm going to call them the step family, which are my stepmom and step uncle. They're seeing their step family's family. Well, no, the fat no. The step family are seeing their family in Romania, which is fine. They need to make up their minds. Merry Christmas, it is now Christmas Day, and I have just finished filming one of my 60 second stories, which is nice. It's not a happy film. <laughs> it's well, it's also 60 seconds, so it's going to be really brief and out of context. Oh, there we go. Oh. So, yeah. I'm hoping it to be out maybe tonight, actually, because I was just going to bust out and edit it now. Basically, for Christmas, I got a load of Amazon gift cards, which is good, because I've been meaning for, like, the past year and a half, I've wanted to buy a jib, which is... It's a very simple one. It's one you can just attach to the top of your tripod, and you can move up and down like that. It's great. And what's even greater is the fact that these gift cards really helped, because I have just bought a jib for 1p, and I am ecstatic. Oh, oh god. Hi, um, this is the jib. It's here a day earlier, a day before filming my FMP actually, or the film. Which means I can use this, which is good. <laughs> this tripod isn't the best equipped for holding onto something of this size, which is unfortunate. But, um, I've got others. I don't know why I chose this one then. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and rest this on the uh, television now. We should have done from the start, really. But, you know. So, we have just finished filming for the second day of Switched Off. I did get some footage, so I'm just, this is more of an intro. Um, tomorrow we're doing the last shoot, and that'll be awesome. That will probably be in this little segment, but we filmed a lot of hilarious things, and I really want to put them in this. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, begin. Well, go on then. Make things right. Well, you know that time you caught me with your dad? <laughs> <laughs> go on then. Make things right. You know you caught me that day with your nan? Fuck you. Yeah. Granddad walked in as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, go on then. Make things right. Oh, yeah, you know that time you caught me with your cat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't have a cat! Ha-ha! <laughs> Fuck, whose cat was it? <laughs> well, you know that time you caught me with... Ha-ha! <laughs> well, it's hard to say this one. Your mum... The death star. Your mum dead. <laughs> Someone's cat. Ooh, um... And that cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> you know that time you uh, come home, you saw the light was on upstairs, and you were like, "Why is the light on?" So you go up, you come upstairs, and then you see what effectively looked like a remake of uh, Wild Wild West. Well, it wasn't Wild Wild West. It was a very, it was your mum's idea. Um, <laughs> she got your dad dressed up as a cowboy. Um, she was some whore in a, in a saloon. No offence, that's what she said. <laughs> now then, granddad played um, <laughs> red, red Indians. <laughs> I was the uh, sheriff who'd come in and sort a lot of them out. That was your mum's idea, not mine. <laughs> but we, uh, but you caught us in the middle of the scene where I was just about to, uh, um, I don't know, it's, it was a 69, but you know, three. <laughs> there shouldn't have been that much blood, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, the blood was an accident. I mean, we got really physical, really physical. Well, things were physical back in those days. You can understand. We had a bit of a <laughs> 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 The 
let's do it. <laughs> So I learnt from last time and didn't just use scissors, I uh, also used the electric razor to do the back of my head and it feels much better than it did, which was kind of long all over in random places. Yeah, good. At the start of this project I said I was going to be filming it on an old digital camera. That didn't really work out. This project actually went on a bit of a hiatus in January and February and March a bit. Um, and by that point I'd already migrated to filming it on my phone. And I don't think that was a bad thing to change to, as it made it more realistic to be able to get more clips. Because I have my phone on me all the time. So it's, you know, and, you know, phones are cameras now. Through that I said I wanted to be able to show that I can document something that's decent and good to watch even when it's not with the highest budget because I've noticed that you know vloggers I'm not saying all vloggers but I'm saying certainly some of the more popular ones have suddenly upped their quality and there were some youtubers and vloggers who would not go with the ultimate HD cam camera or DSLR it's always been either a camcorder or just a webcam and they still get a decent sized audience I was just sort of trying to show through this as well that, you know, something is watchable. Well, this year's been uh, quite a hard year anyway, and I'm not trying to discredit any of the good stuff that has been presented in 2015 at all, and there have been really good times. But obviously there are things that happen that you're like, well, they were quite big, and therefore all sometimes mm, there's not enough happiness there to discredit what's happened, and that shouldn't... And, that, and I don't think you can use good times to discredit something bad that happened in your life. When I moved from my house where I lived with my mum to by myself, then that kind of, I didn't, I wasn't prepared for what was going to come along. I was living on just my uni loan and it, that wasn't nearly enough and I was struggling. Um, I was all, I was like pretty much my dad, I was asking for money every couple of days because I was just running out. To which at that point I decided, um, yeah, I want to move in with my dad. And because my tenancy agreement was up in April, that's why I moved to Liverpool for a month for when they would move down here closer to uni for me. Um, so yeah, it was it was very weird um, having to travel down from Liverpool to Southend and everything like that. It was very, very weird. But it was also exciting when I think back on it. It was stressful at the time, but thinking back on it now, it was quite exciting in the respect that, you know, it was something I'd never done before. It was something new to do, commuting down from such a far away place. It was really thinking about it. It was nice to do because I got to see Liverpool which I'll no, no, I'll probably be back there some point in my life but I can't see it in the foreseeable future so it, it was nice to go there and actually see it at least um, but been here since May and I've decided to, I decided to try and get back into filmmaking because I lost my drive and I throughout the entire year I've been sort of making things even if I didn't want to make them I've been kind of forcing myself to do it and it doesn't sound healthy but I know that if I wouldn't force myself I never would do it and we've finished Time Traveler Series 2 I've made a couple of short films and you know we've recently just shot one and it felt great to do that and I feel more like myself again which is why I think this series is also quite special in itself as well it wasn't just me going hey I'm out with my mates it is kind of a narrative of me improving as a person and I really actually find that quite nice to look back on 
because I watched the January one just now, which I know admittedly I filmed most of it in March, but seeing as I was then, which was obviously, uh, I had, I've, I've, I've lost weight since, but like seeing like, you know, that's March this year. And now nine months later, here we are. And things have massively changed because I was so distracted by the other things going on in my life. I didn't stop and, re and really think, yeah, maybe I should, you know, re you know I re realise what I do have, not what I don't. So that's what I've done, and I feel a lot happier because of it. I am actually genuinely happy and, for, well, and content, which is the best you can be. I got more freelance work, and is much, some of it wasn't paid, some of it was, but either way, it's great experience all around. After New Year, after I have uh, changed, we'll say, in a new year, uh, there will follow up with a compilation of this year in general. But yes, uh, thank you to everyone who made this year a great year. Um, I'll even say, um, even though I've had lots of obstacles this year, I've been able to sort of overcome them, and I feel very happy about that. So, yeah. I then, well, I will bid you a farewell, and, well, I'll see you at New Year, I suppose. People, it's okay. ten seconds. Yeah. Happy New Year! Yes, I know it's the end of March or April when I'm recording this, but I changed my mind on what I was going to do. I'm in the last few days of obviously living here. January the 8th, 2015, and I'm going to be making a project all year called 2015. Dear Donald, hope you have a Christmas that really tickles your whiskers. There's a gap! <laughs> We're driving! Yeah! Oh, yeah. What do you think? Uh, I'm in the last few days of obviously living here. So. We have wrapped filming on detached Donal short film. Just want to say thank you to actually both of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, not you, Julia. <laughs> we need to move today. Oh, yeah. Second year, uni is over. Right, being it falls from the air. Are you alright, Donal? Help me. Good thing I'm on the end of his side. Why is there air between you two? Shouldn't you be vacuum packed together? Otherwise, he's not really doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to film the scene with you? No, 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 no. Just look cool. Look, look like you're doing something. Uh -huh. you like the world's about these days looking like you're doing something. Who is he? Why is he? Why did he Fuck off, Connor, with your The thing you said you'd do every time I told you on 2015. Yeah. No, because you want it now. <laughs> Being so tired that we've gone insane. All right, Richard. <laughs> Left. Sorry. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Happy New, New Year! Alright, hello, I'm Daniel Japan, so I'm not Connor Chadwick, 
you might be thinking, who the hell is this stranger Irish person? But basically, I'll be continuing the series in 2016. Uh, so, I presume there'll be a link somewhere along the video to my channel um, where I will be uh, hosting 2016. Um, <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll, I'll leave now. I'll begin 20, uh, 2016 as we speak. Alright, Happy New Year, guys, and I'll see you, uh, I'll see you for the year.